Hi folks, Max from HighOnAndroid.com, where we get high on Android every day. Anyway, I just want to make a quick video. Um, after installing a custom ROM, a lot of people uh, tell me that their data is not working, um, their phone is not working, and uh, they revert back to stock ROM or do whatever. And uh, you know, um, first thing you'll have to do is check the APN. As you can see, I'm not getting data on my phone after installing a custom ROM. Don't freak out. Um, depending on whether you uh, where you live, um, it may be that you may have to enter APN settings manually. Um, to do this, simply go into settings um, and uh, go find mobile uh, more mobile networks. Uh, let me go ahead and show you on my uh, one of my there we go one of my uh, other phones here. Uh, for example, TouchWiz. If you have a TouchWiz ROM. It's most likely gonna be um, somewhere with mo more networks. There we go, and go to mobile networks, and you'll be able to. You need to just find access point names, which is um, uh, acronym for that is APN. Uh, so let me go ahead and see. For this ROM, I have to click on mobile networks. Um, so just go find access point names uh, for your phone, uh, whether you have an Android tablet that has 3G, 4G, or Android smartphone. Uh, if you have a Nexus 5, um, access point name is somewhere there. Now, you don't have to mess with this. If you have Sprint or Verizon, those are CDMA. You do not have to mess with the access point names. Um, they're usually, they should work out of the box. If it doesn't work, something wrong with the ROM usually. Um, this is only for those of you using a SIM card network, such as AT&T, T-Mobile, um, I, I know a lot of you international people have trouble because in the US, uh, T-Mobile and AT&T, it will actually download the access point names and actually been into Thailand uh, using prepaid SIM card and it also downloads access points, uh, APNs uh, automatically. Sometimes you have to install your ROM, let it sit for about a minute or two, um, then it will actually download the access point names. Now what if you waited and it didn't work? Then go ahead and go into access point names um, as you can see, this I have a T-Mobile SIM card in there, but it's actually pointing to the wrong one. Sometimes that happens to uh, a lot with AT&T because AT&T has um, access point name uh, for their older uh, SIM cards and the newer SIM cards. Um, so in this case, I'm simply going to choose a fast.T-Mobile. And as you can see, instantly I got LTE data working. Um, now, there are cases where you won't see any of this, so how do you set that manually? Uh, basically, what you want to do is just hit the plus button here, uh, and then you'll go ahead and Google um, the access point name. Uh, for example, we're going to go ahead and Google uh, access point name for US T-Mobile. Um, also, for US, uh, make sure you go look for the LTE APN. Uh, for example, Google T-Mobile um, APN. Uh, 4G LTE or Google uh, AT&T uh, 4G LTE uh, APN. Now if you do see uh, the APN settings, you don't have to do all of them. Uh, most important one you have to do is basically the name, it can be anything, so I'm just going to put it whatever, it does not matter. Uh, for T-Mobile to get data, this is all you have to do. Um, go ahead and type fast. Uh, dot t dash mobile dot com uh, this will get your 4G LT data working um, your data working now to get MMS working you'll have to set additional stuff here and sometimes you may have to set the MCC NMC uh, if the ROM doesn't fill it out for you and then once you have it set simply save and switch to your new uh, APN there. Now this is pretty much exactly the same as that one, so I'm going to get 4G LTE. Uh, and then we can take a look at um, the MMS settings. So what you'll need to get uh, is basically the MMSC settings there to get your MMS working. Now if you live in another country um, that doesn't have APN download automatically, then you can go ahead and Google um, those APNs on Google and uh, simply input it, and you should be able to get your data working. So don't freak out next time your data doesn't work. Uh, it just simply means that you may have to set it manually, set it manually, and your data should work, and you should be on your way to enjoying your new custom ROM. 
Anyway, I just want to point this out for uh, noobs and beginners who are just getting into custom ROMs. And uh, this is one of the questions I get all the time. So I made a video so you can just follow it. Uh, and uh, that's about it. Anyway, I hope this video helps. Don't forget to subscribe to my email. Um, not my email, but my YouTube channel. And hit that like button. And I will see you guys soon. I'll stay hoi on Android.